Listen, I'm angry, alright? Daddy's angry. Cran Cross cannot keep getting away with this. We already knew the banner wasn't gonna change really for the ReZero collab. But you know, with Global being the favorite child of the relationship, you would think, you know, they would change the banner, but they didn't. The banner is complete trash, man. In today's video, I'm gonna kinda go over the units and I'll let you guys know if you guys should summon or not. And it, it, it is an issue. Right? Let, me, let me pull up my JP Grand Cross here for a second. I'll pull it on the side, but I'll talk with the banner here for a second. So, uh, with this, they did get enough loyalty points to get one additional SSR hero at 600. You get one. You can receive rewards. You can receive the rewards repeatedly. So. We already know how Grand Cross works when it comes to 600 point banner. Uh, you get the 600 step, you get to choose one of the four. Boom, boom. Also, good to note, uh, Rem, or Rem is free. Rem is really good, and Amelia is also really good. Beatrice is uh, the worst one in the banner. Uh, also, they do have get 100 diamonds back each time you reach 600 loyalty points. Um, get 600 loyalty points one time, you get 100 diamonds. So. Uh, each time you spend 600 diamonds, you get 100 back, and the diamonds will be distributed uh, when the ReZero uh, collab banner ends, which is weird, because that's, I mean, okay, but you would think they would be distributed later time, when, or at the same time as you summon, so you can summon more, but no, they're going to distribute them when the banner ends, so, yeah. Take a look at the banner here. Uh, trash. Absolute trash. Besides, I mean, besides like the, obviously the main characters on the banner, the banner is doo doo, uh, <laughs> very bad. All right. <laughs> um, let's take a look at everything else here. You can exchange three for one. Easy clap. We already know what the characters do. I mean, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you guys already know what they do. Emilia is top tier. Um, Rem is also top tier. I would say Emilia is definitely one tier above Rem. Uh, then you have Ram, who is a fantastic support unit. She is a free unit. She supports all unknown uh, race characters. Uh, I'm so glad she's free. Because honestly, man, if you want to save your gems and not spend on race zero, just get her for free, man, and you'll be kind of set to move on long. I mean, you're going to miss, obviously, not having these two. Like I said, for collab characters, I, I always like summoning on them because, I mean, they're never going to return. So... Having them in my box is always nice for them to be there. And you never know in the future when they can be used for something. So, yeah, a character never returning is super tough to skip on, in my personal opinion. And you have Beatrice, uh, the worst out of all of them. All right. Uh, with the collab info, you get a free multi. <laughs> Hopefully you can pull, pull one of the characters there. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Ram is free. And then all the events that come with it. The, uh, the boss... It's going to be a boss, free cosmetics, obviously. Back-to-back -back collabment is never fun, I'll be honest. It's so much money you got to spend. You got to buy cosmetics. Uh, Great Cross, stop making the banners trash at least, man. You would think they would buff up the banner considering we have a back-to-back -back collab. But they didn't buff up the freaking banner. So, you know. Ugh. And then uh, we have Gila and Jericho final boss coming. Uh, there's no cosmetic for Gila and Jericho, so <laughs> you only get the rewards, which Pog, right? I wish they would have gave it. If they make a final boss, at least make the, you know, cosmetic for the final boss characters. I guess they said nah, man. <laughs> the recommended heroes? What are you talking about? Or Sario literally is the recommended hero for this. I don't even know who works best for this. Red King, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go on my JP right here. You guys can see it, right? I got Rem, level 90. Amelia, level 90. Amelia is fantastic, man. I love Amelia. Amelia is... Here's the thing about Amelia. Um, she is god tier if she's 6-6 six, six, or like 5-4-5-6-6. Five, five, six, six. If she's like 1-6-2-6-3-6, six, 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 she definitely falls in here because she's got the Lost Familios ultimate. Right? So, Emilia does kind of depend on what tier she places, depending on her ultimate level. So, she is a whale unit. Uh, Rem does not need ultimate level to be insane. She is a main DPS unit. She will destroy anybody in her path. Right? 
Then you have Ram. Where is Ram? I don't even know where Ram is. Ram is a fantastic support unit in the back line for any unknown teams. For example, like Merlin Gother. Very good. You have Beatrice. Who is just there in your box. Right? That's pretty much all Beatrice is. She just sits there in your box. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys summoning? Are you guys skipping? Um, like I said, with, with collaborators, I hate skipping them because the characters will never return. Now, if you're not a fan of, you know, Ray Zero, I've never seen the show. You know, I mean, it's an easy skip for you because you got, I guess you don't care for the characters. But to my point again, man, you never know when you'll need Beatrice to be the main dominant uh, unit for a raid or something to get like a top 5%. So, I mean, that, that happens all the time, right? Um, up to you if you guys want to summon in the comment section below. Let me know! Are you guys summoning, skipping? What are you doing? That's gonna do it. That's all the patch notes there is. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.